Glossé, gla gla glacé, I don't know how to pronounce it. Their drugstore, absolutely incredible. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing my next video on my Best in Beauty 2020 series. This is a series I started a couple of weeks ago where I've been talking about my favorite products of the past year, 2020, and the ones that just stood out to me the most, the ones that um, I just felt were the best in my opinion, the ones that maybe I used the most and just kind of fell in love with. Um, some of them are new launches, some of them are just new finds for me. So my series includes the base or complexion edition, the cheek edition, and the eye edition. Those all have been uploaded to my channel in the last couple of weeks, so I will link them below. And today will be about lips. So let's get right down to it. If you want to find out what my favorite lip products of 2020 were, then keep on watching. So let's start with lip liner. I have drugstore and high-end products for each category. And my drugstore fave of 2020 is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liners. These are absolutely incredible. They're drugstore price, but they are definitely high in quality. They're very pigmented, they're very creamy, they're very long wearing. So this one I have here is in number 12, Bordeaux. It is a nice like wine, beautiful, like rich, deep red. I really, really like the shade and it's the, the reason that I chose it for today is because it is one of my favorite shades to use when I'm doing a red lip. Basically what I like to do when I'm doing really any type of lip, whether it's red, whether it's bright, whether it's dark, vampy, bold, uh, nude, neutral, every day, anything like that. If I'm gonna be doing a full like lip liner and lipstick, then what I like to do is start with a lip liner that's a little bit darker that I can actually kind of contour the lip with and then actually apply a lighter, you know, liquid lipstick or a lighter lipstick or, you know, a, a light gloss in the center and it just accentuates the um, center of the lips and creates more fullness, make my lips look a little bit bigger. If you want a tutorial on that technique, I can do that. So let me know if you guys are interested because it really is my go-to lip. The reason I like this shade is because it is a little bit more of that dark, rich, wine, burgundy type red. So if you apply a bit of a lighter or brighter red in the center, it creates more fullness. And this is just a stunning shade to line with if you're gonna be doing a red lip. Now they have other shades, so if you're not into red lips or if you just would be interested in another shade, they do have um, a pretty good shade selection. So I do recommend you checking out Milani's formula. Really, really creamy, it glides on easily. You're able to fill it in really quickly and easily because it is so creamy, but it's not too creamy that it's going to be like messy, smearing everywhere, unable to create like a crisp line, like you can still get that defined crisp line, but you also can, um, you know, do it quickly. It's gonna glide on easily and you can also fill in the lip really, really nicely. So really love the Milani formula. It's one of my favorite drugstore lip liners at the moment and absolutely love this shade. My high end lip liner. This one was my favorite by a landslide. This was my absolute favorite lip liner of the whole entire year. It was my most used lip liner of the whole entire year. And I absolutely um, fell in love with this, especially in the last like three or four months. I've used this like honestly almost every single time I've done my lips. So this is the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil. I like the specific shade called Share. I do have quite a few of these. I like every single shade that I have. This one just stands out to me because it's the perfect um, nude lip liner. So it is that kind of brownie nude, but it's not too brown. Like because I'm so pale, I don't like brown, like just straight up brown, especially for an everyday. So this is like the perfect nude shade that's a little bit darker so I can create that like darker edge to create that fullness. It's a beautiful shade for lining the lips for like a nude lip, for a more like everyday lip. It's my absolute favorite, it's my go-to. The formula of the Gerard Cosmetics ones are absolutely to die for, very similar to the Milani. They're creamy, they glide super easily, um, yet they are firm enough that you can create a very crisp line. Both of these sharpen really well. I don't know about you guys, but to me, a lip liner that doesn't sharpen well, is that's a huge con. So both of these sharpen well, and that makes things a lot easier. It's long wearing 100%. Again, both brands and formulas come in many different shades. So once again, if any of these products that I'm mentioning 
you don't love the shade that I am, you know, talking about, I would recommend um, checking out their formulas because you can find shades that are more to your preference, but you can still get that quality that I'm talking about. So now on to lip crayons. I have one high end and one drugstore as well. My drugstore favorite is the Maybelline Superstay ink crayon. It is a very long wearing creamy lip crayon. The thing I love about lip crayons is that you can line the lips and fill them in at once. It kind of is a two in one type product. It you know, can be your lip liner and your lipstick in one, which is really, really nice. This is the shade, what's it called? Seek Adventure number 30. It's a beautiful like mid-tone pink. It is a pretty neutral pink. It's not like overly warm. It's not overly cool. It's not super nude. It's not super bright. It's not dark. Like it's like a perfect neutral lip. The formula is really, really beautiful. It's very, very creamy, easy to use, easy to glide on, but they also wear for a really long time. They're not overly shiny, but you do see that really, really slight sheen. So they almost give like a healthy type sheen. Just make your lips seem more um, hydrated, but it still has that super pigmented crispness of a matte. My favorite high end is from Bite Beauty. I hadn't tried a lot of high end lip crayons. I tried a lot of high end lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, but not very many lip crayons. Mine is like an old fave. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in Glossé, gla gla Glacé. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is a bit more nude and kind of that brown undertone, but not too brown. As I mentioned, I don't like really, really brown lip products. So I think it's like a beautiful nude with enough pink to it. It's almost mauvey, which I really, really like. The formula again is really really beautiful I think it also has a tiny bit of a sheen and the thing that I like about both of these because they have the slightest bit of a sheen like not really noticeable but enough to just bring some more like zhuzh to the lip it's you know how sometimes matte lipsticks depending on their formula, they can look a little bit more drier. They can kind of look a little bit more dull. Like these just almost smooth out the lip because they have a bit of that hydration. Both of these are very smoothing. I feel like between the two though, the Maybelline one is extremely smoothing. That is another thing I love about the Maybelline one. It almost fills in those lines in your lip. Instead of accentuating it, it almost smooths it out. And in doing that, it actually makes your lips look a little bit more plump and a little bit more full. The Bite Beauty one is very smoothing as well. Really like both of these formulas. Bite Beauty is also long wearing, also pigmented, also easy to line and fill in your lips with. And I love both of the colors as well. Like I picked these products not only for formula, but also for um, shade wise, like which colors I like. So then the next category is lipstick. And I actually have two drugstore and two high end. So the first one is actually also from Milani. It's the color statement lipstick. I absolutely love these. They are very pigmented pigmented, very um, creamy, yet this has a matte finish. You get that like creamy texture and feel on your lips. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel, um, you know, chalky. It feels very creamy and smooth on the lips, but it also has that beautiful matte finish. Number 60, Matte Innocence. It's a beautiful matte peachy nude. And this, the reason I picked this is number one, I absolutely love Milani's color statement lipsticks. Formula wise, I really think they're great. Again, they're pigmented, you know, smooth on the lips. They're non-drying, they're long wearing. But the reason I picked this one as well is because it's been my go-to for that trick that I was mentioning where you put a lighter shade in the center of your lips and it creates a more full effect. So this has been one of my go-to for like a nude lip or just for any bright peachy shade to put in the center of the lip to really create some fullness. So I absolutely love this shade. Like I will show you now. I already actually have a different one, which I will mention in a minute. Um, I have a different light shade that I've put in the center, but I will pop this on just to show you. It's a little bit lighter. Look at how smooth that is. It just accentuates the center of your lip. It creates the most beautiful effect. I recommend this, this one as well. Another fave of mine from the drugstore is actually from Revlon. And these are the super lustrous glass shine lipsticks. These actually come in like a more balm type applicator and they really kind of feel like a balm, but they're more pigmented like a lipstick, which is really, really beautiful and why I love these. So as you can see, very pigmented for a more glossy, balmy type 
lipstick. Um, so you get that pigmentation, but you also get that nourishment and hydration. They feel good on the lips. They do, in my opinion, hydrate the lips a bit. I wouldn't call them like a lip balm or like a lip treatment, but they are a more hydrating formula. And I absolutely love that. It has the most beautiful sheen. Like you get that beautiful um, glossy finish. You can almost wear it as a two-in-one. You get that pigmentation of a lipstick, but you also can get that shine of a gloss. Those of you that want one last step, this is my go-to for that. You can build it so that it is more pigmented. This is also newer, so if you hadn't heard of it, they're really, really great, and I do recommend them. And for just for, for reference, the shade is in Beaming Strawberry. Now, let's move on to high-end lipsticks. I have two as well, as I mentioned, and the first one is the one that I was talking about having already placed on my lips. So I, today, for my lip, placed my Gerard Cosmetics lip liner. I then placed a liquid lipstick, which I will talk about in a minute. It is also a fave. I tried to use all products that I'm gonna be mentioning in today's video. And then I popped this right here in the center. Another one of my go-to for the center of the lip. This guy right here, Share Lip Liner by Gerard Cosmetics with this baby is such a beautiful nude lip. Absolutely stunning, my go-to lip right now. But this one here, is from Makeup Forever. It's the Rouge Artist Lipstick. It is a more kind of matte finish lipstick and it is a beautiful kind of peachy nude shade. It is a little bit more pink than the Milani one. As you can see, it has a little bit less warmth in it, which is kind of nice. It's a, it's a bit of a more neutral shade, but still a bit of a peachy undertone. This one is in the shade Inspiring Petal, number 150. You get this really long lid, which at first I was like, what is this for? Okay, you actually pop the lipstick in here. It's supposed to mimic a lip brush. So it's supposed to help application be a little bit easier. And it really, I think it does. I mean, it's not like gonna change your life. It's not gonna like make applying lipstick be the easiest thing you've ever done. But it, it is the way that you hold it is comfortable and helpful i think especially for beginners the, also the way the bullet is shaped i think is helpful as it is on such a slant it is easy to apply formula wise i really really like this formula because it is very smoothing to the lip as well similar to almost like pretty much every product i'm talking about is very smoothing and creamy but this one is such an incredible formula because it has that really intense color of a matte. You get that really like pigmented lip color, as you can see here in the swatch on my lip. Really, really great pigmentation, that crisp matte finish, but you also get the hydration and the creaminess of a cream lipstick. So it's supposed to be like a hybrid between a satin and a matte um, lipstick. I do find it comes off a little bit more matte, but you do kind of see that slight sheen similar to the Maybelline lip liner or sorry, lip crayon I was talking about. It's not very noticeable, but you see a slight sheen and that I think is what helps smooth out the lip makes it look smoother. It takes away from any texture. It doesn't accentuate texture. It doesn't dry out the lips. If anything, it does the opposite. And probably one of my favorite finds of this whole video, this guy right here, is one of my top recommendations. The last lipstick fave of 2020, and this was hard to choose because I had so many favorites, but the reason that I chose this one is because the formula is unbelievable so this is the fenty beauty oh what are these called <laughs> um this is the plush matte lipstick so i do have it in a mini i just kind of tried it out and the shade isn't necessarily one i would go for on an everyday it is a bright fun pink but that's not why i fell in love with it now that being said this is a beautiful like go to shade for the summer if you like to have just a bold lip this is such a stunning shade now number one as you can see in the swatch one of the most pigmented um, lip products that i have today in this video very pigmented super intense, super crisp. You get that beautiful, beautiful matte finish. And it is quite matte, but you do get that hint of a sheen, not noticeable, you, it still looks matte, but it is creamy enough that it's not going to look drying or powdery or um, chalky. It's very creamy and smooth. It is, and this is I think why I chose this for my second fave, it is honestly one of the most smoothing lipsticks I've ever used. Making the lips look very smooth, it takes away from any texture, it really almost like fills in, it's almost like a 
pore filling primer for your lips. It makes your lips look so smooth. And again, when products on your lips do that, it makes them look more full and that's incredible. They're very long wearing. Something that I want to find a more everyday shade in, because I think if I had a shade that I would use on an everyday, it would be a go-to for me 100%. So moving on, we're gonna go to liquid lipstick. So I have two drugstore liquid lipsticks and two high end. My first drugstore is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. They also have Pro Matte Glosses or something like that. They're a little bit more of a satin finish. This is the actual like matte liquid lipstick. So it's a little bit more matte. It's very, very long wearing though. And that is what I love about this formula. It's extremely long wearing. Like smudge proof like lasts all day long it honestly is potentially one of the longest wearing liquid lipsticks i've ever tried high-end and drugstore you can eat with this on this shade is a bit more of a brown nude again love to apply this and then apply a lighter shade in the center of the lip really really great it does take it you know a little bit to dry down which is kind of nice because then you can just clean it up around the edges but it does dry down pretty matte and it does last a really long time once it's there it's not going anywhere unless you're like really scrubbing it off and it's from the drugstore so that's really cool next one is from ColourPop and it is from the Mulan collection it's called Strong Chi it's in their Lux liquid lipstick formula now they have a couple formulas. There's a velvet liquid lipstick. I like just the Lux liquid lipstick, like just the original liquid lipstick formula. It is extremely thin, extremely lightweight, um, but very long wearing as well. It is a little bit more nourishing to the lip than the L'Oreal one. So if you're worried about a liquid lipstick being too dry, if you have very chapped, easily dried out lips, then this one is maybe a little bit less drying than the L'Oreal one. It maybe doesn't last quite as long as the L'Oreal one though. So it's like whatever you're looking for in a liquid lipstick, but both of them do last a really, really long time. I love the ColourPop one, number one, because the formula, like look at how, and they haven't completely dried down yet, but you can even just see how thin the ColourPop one is. Um, and the L'Oreal one isn't even thick at all. It's super, super lightweight, but really, really pigmented at the same time. And that is 100% what I look for in a, a liquid lipstick. If it is really, really um, thick or goopy or uncomfortable or heavy, I cannot stand it. It's hard enough for me to wear lipstick, like just lipstick or gloss. I hate stuff on my lips. I'm just a weirdo like that. And I'm, I don't like lotion on my hands. I don't like, you know, my face moisturizer has to be really like gel-like. I can't feel it on my skin. I don't like lip, like lipstick or gloss. Like I don't like the way it feels. So this one was really impressive because it's extremely comfortable, extremely lightweight, um, yet very, very pigmented and um, thin and long wearing. So really, really, really great recommend. I don't know how long this is going to be around the specific shade because it was included in a collection and a lot of the times they will discontinue them but the formula itself is great. So if this shade specifically goes, you know, discontinued, or if you don't like this shade, if you're not into a red lip, then they have other beautiful shades as well. I really recommend the formula and it's, it's literally one of the thinnest, most comfortable liquid lipsticks ever. I absolutely love it. Like look at those two and they're drugstore. So now on to high end, this was where it got tough. I have a lot of high end liquid lipstick favorites and it was really hard to choose, but these two I think are my absolute favorite from this year. And the shades are really shades I went for a lot this year. So the first one is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Bombshell. This one is very thin and comfortable as well. I'd say it's a pretty similar formula to the L'Oreal one. It's not quite as thin as the ColourPop one, but like not thick at all either. They're very comfortable. Non-drying, they don't make your lips feel tight. So this shade here is a little bit more um, warm and peachy than the L'Oreal one. Just a beautiful, warm nude. I really like the Huda Beauty ones because they're very pigmented. They're very comfortable. They don't dry your, you know, overly dry out your lips. Um, they are a little bit more of a hydrating formula and 
See, I don't like to use that term because no liquid lipstick is hydrating. And if it is, then it doesn't last a long time. These last an extremely long time. I really just like the formula in this shade specifically was a fave from this year. They are a little bit more pricey, but if you love Huda Beauty and you've been interested in trying one of these, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And then the last one is actually the one I was wearing today. It's the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. Again, a very thin, comfortable, lightweight formula. Again, very non drying very pigmented very long wearing um, it's very smoothing like a lot of liquid lipsticks really sometimes can accentuate the texture just because the way that they dry down because they're liquid and then they dry down to like a matte and they're just made to last a long time sometimes they can really make your lips look like very um, textured and you can see all the little lines in your lips this one is definitely not one that does that it really is smoothing like my lips look so smooth and plump and i have a liquid lipstick and a lipstick on i have no gloss so really great formula um, probably one of the most i'd say the gerard cosmetics and the ColourPop one are the more hydrating formulas um, and the least drying formulas out of the four that I'm, you know, I'm recommending. My absolute favorite from 2020. So I have one product that I guess can kind of be considered a liquid lipstick, but it's actually advertised as a stain and it is it is a stain, so we're gonna include it because it's probably my, one of my absolute favorite finds of 2020 in the lip category. And it's the YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. So these are liquid lip colors, we'll call them. It stains the lips, but it's very pigmented. Like most stains have that really like stained glass effect. Um, they're really glossy, whereas this one actually dries down matte. It's very pigmented. It has a beautiful, um, smooth, very like undetectable like it's it's not it just looks like your lips are that color like you can't see it on the lips it's you know not heavy it's one of the thinnest products for the lips that i've ever found i absolutely love it it's really lightweight once it dries down you barely notice it's there they do stain the lips so they last all day long i really love these i never told you what the gerard cosmetics shade was this is in the hydra matte gerard cosmetics liquid lipstick is in the shade serenity um but this ysl one is in number 11. it's a beautiful like mid-tone pink do you just see how healthy that looks it's a beautiful finish really long wearing really really thin they are very pricey, but if you you know want to invest in one, you will not be disappointed. They're really great, and the applicator is so cool. So it's very you know thick and flat, so you can really spread it on quickly and easily. It applies the perfect amount of product, but then when you flip it onto its side or use the very tip, it's very very thin, so you can like get right along and like almost line the lips and get that perfect edge absolutely incredible so we have one last category and that is gloss my absolute favorite um, drugstore gloss which I will say that I kind of failed in this category I have I think ColourPop is one of the only brands I try to gloss in this year I know I'm sorry but I really do love the ColourPop glosses and that's why I got so many of them they're very comfortable they're not goopy they're not sticky this shade specifically I love it's in Renaissance it's from the dark blooms collection it is a very sheer kind of peachy nude shade. It has a beautiful kind of golden glitter, very, very fine glitter though. It just makes your lips look so full. It's, it's beautiful over top of any color um, because it is so sheer and I like that about this gloss. And they smell amazing, like fantastic. It almost smells like citrusy, but it also kind of has a bit of like a desserty like feel to it. I don't know. It just smells like a lemon square or something. It smells so delicious. And then my high end faves is number one, my Charlotte Tilbury jewel lips. This one impressed me beyond belief. I have always been the kind of girl that's like, Oh, well gloss is gloss, like whatever, as long as it's not sticky. But this one is extremely flattering. So I'm going to apply it here. You will see like it's very thin. It's not the most shiny or glossy gloss, but it really just flatters the lips. It makes your lips look so full and juicy and smooth. Like it really smooths out your lips. It makes them look so healthy and plump. And I really love this formula. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. It's like the perfect shade for over top of many different you know, lipsticks. I use it very frequently. It has very nourishing ingredients in it, so it is going to hydrate your lips. I think it's one of the most flattering glosses I've ever tried. I was like in awe of this when I first tried it. A definite recommend. 
absolutely have been in love with Charlotte Tilbury this year, and this is one of my favorite finds from her. It's one of my favorite glosses, and I really recommend it. And then the last recommendation and the last fave of this year is my Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. I absolutely love this. These are a little bit of a thicker gloss, like the Charlotte Tilbury ones are very thin. I guess I never swatched it for you. It's this one right here. So you do see a bit of the color more because it's on just like bare skin. It's that beautiful Pillow Talk shade, but you can see they're very, very thin. The Fenty ones are a little bit thicker and I know people have commented on their consistency. They think they're a little goopy, but if you're you know, not applying too much product, I really, I personally don't feel they are. I think they're very comfortable and I feel like the way that they apply and their consistency really does add a lot of shine and it really makes your lips look very full. That's the fav my favorite thing about these is that you'll see very quickly how glossy it makes your lips look without looking thick and goopy. It's not sticky at all, very comfortable. It makes your lips feel very nourished and hydrated, but it really makes your lips look super juicy and plump and full. And I love that about a gloss because my lips are smaller. So if I can have products that make my lips look full, I'm happy. And this is one of my favorites for that. They're very, you know, glistening and shimmery, but the shimmer in actually all three of these have a very fine, like micro fine shimmer. And I think that's why I like them all because when there's that micro fine shimmer that you can't feel, you barely notice, it actually like is a very light reflective. I think that's what brings out, you know, and accentuates your lips and makes them look more plump and juicy and full. And that's what I love about all three of those glosses. The shades are beautiful. This is the Fenty one. It's like a more pink shade, really stunning. It's not too pigmented. Absolutely love those all. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. These are my fave lip products from 2020. I hope you guys found some good recommendations and enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and uploads. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.